I wanted to add to what the leader has said that uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa regime must now cease, there must be a ceasefire in this country mm. of these road, roadside declarations. Mm. Kenyans have had enough of it. You can't be giving roadside declaration every Sunday in a church. Please, that must stop. Let us agree first on the ground rules that the, these roadside declarations must end. Government now must bring policy now must operate through parliament, they must operate through their ministries, they must do things the way government was known to, to be doing things. The way things Kenya Kwanzaa is doing now is not the way government operates. Because everyone, like some disgruntled militia, is giving roadside declaration anywhere and anyhow. But secondly, this issue of term limit, I want to advise UDA and Kenya Kwanzaa in general. As, as, as an advice that it is too early to test the waters <laughs> with that kind of statement. Kenyans are suffering, there is drought, there is hunger, there is there are myriad of problems in our country, cost of living. We know ourselves as politicians. You send a, a small squirrel to test for you the waters, whether there is maize in the granary. <laughs> we know, we know each other. That's <laughs> what the, the young man was doing. <laughs> but I want to advise them that they can postpone that for another day. We know it is coming and we are waiting for it. We know one day before this term ends, that matter will come either through parliament yeah. or through another means. We are waiting for it. But the only advice we want to issue now as colleagues in politics, it is too early to, to talk about that. Because Kenyans are not are suffering. Kenyans have problems. The issue of term limit we said it before election, we will say it now, and we know it is coming. But we know how to deal with it, and we will deal with it at the right time, not at this time when Kenyans have problems of drought, hunger, cost of living, no. We want to fight over that matter when Kenyans are not hungry, when Kenyans' bellies are full. That's the time to play that kind of football. So I'm telling this uh, Kenya Kwanza, don't add sufferings to sufferings. Kenyans are suffering enough, so don't add time limit. And secondly, we know that uh, when we we play when we play our role as an opposition, th why do they take offense with us? They are the ones who told us <laughs> we want people who want to check us. People will check government. People will do their opposition. Role. That's what we are doing. Strong, <laughs> Strong opposition. Strong opposition. <laughs> why are you complaining again when we do our work? <laughs> Please, <laughs> unless you want to remove the term limit. That's when opposition is not needed. Opposition is not needed if you want to remove the time limit. So we are still doing press-ups. We are coming. <laughs> mm. We need press-ups. Uh, yeah. let, let me say something. Uh, thank you, leader. I'm Dr. Gogo.